Alright, so today we're going to talk about um, layering of risk and credit worthiness when it comes to clients. As you know, we've been in a recent uh, housing, housing boom, and um, you see all kinds of different walks of life trying to purchase a home. Keep in mind when it comes to lending, there are still uh, parameters that we have to follow. There is layering of risk, which basically means how much risk do we have as opposed to compensating factors. Uh, risk could be something like um, lower credit scores. Well, in turn, if you have lower credit scores, you need to have something to compensate for that, which may be money in the bank or something like that. So we're going to kind of do a little skit on it. Jeff is my low credit score uh, borrower. And keep in mind, when I say low credit score borrower, I realize that sometimes bad things happen to good people. I realize that people sometimes lose their job and, and it affects, you know, am I going to pay my visa bill or am I going to feed my kids? I get that. So I'm not talking bad about people that that's affected. I'm talking about your credit criminal. The people that intentionally go out, run up lines of credit, and don't pay a dime on it. So Jeff here is going to be my down payment assistant, low credit score borrower, and we're going to kind of discuss some things, right? Yep. So, um, Mr. Jeffrey. Hey, so Alex, um, I was seeing out there that there's some things that I can get that will help me with a down payment so I don't have to come out of pocket with any money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I really, I don't want to get any money. I just want to get into a house and get out of my apartment. So you want a free house? I love a free house, but okay. I, I know it's not going to be free, but like I said, you know, I've, I've seen it advertised and, you know, I've seen agents out there telling me too that I can get into a house with no money. What, 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 what about that stuff and what can I do? I mean, can I get into a house? Money down. You know, Jeff, in your situation, um, I don't think you've ever paid a bill on time, have you? I mean, a few times back in the day. A few That's times, all right. Well, that being said, you know, when you look at lending, you have a layering of risk, meaning that um, you have lower credit scores. So we have to do something to compensate for that, okay? If I myself would lend you 20 bucks, what makes you think that Wells Fargo would lend you $200,000? You know, you have to look at your clients and take a look at what their situation is, if they're worthy to be lent to, you know, because this is in 2009 where everybody with a heartbeat gets a loan. That's what got us into the crash. And the same people you hear talk about the crash are the same people that bring people like yourself to my office and say, hey, this guy's got a low credit score, let's help him. Now here's the thing, Jeff, had you shown a history of making efforts and paying your bills on time, we could do something more than likely to help you out. But because you've been delinquent and are currently delinquent on certain accounts, that really hurts your chances. Um, you know, the best form of advice is pretty simple. Pay your bills. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's all it boils down to. Now, there are programs that if you have a larger down payment, you're able to obtain a loan through that. But it costs money. You know, because what you have to look at is how much risk is this person going to take and how quick is their return. You know, because if I lend you $200,000, but you have a history of default, I want my return on my investment as quickly as possible. Because I want to make sure that everything's taken care of in case you do go south in default, I still have something to show for it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. But I mean, it, what if I don't bring money down and I get in there, you know, I mean, they're not really going to... Have you served this country? No. <laughs> You're not getting no money down loan regardless. If you were a veteran, I could get you 100% finance, that wouldn't be an issue. What if my girlfriend's a veteran? Well, then your girlfriend probably needs to find better taste than men. <laughs> so, <laughs> higher credit score, boyfriends. Did you tell her your credit score? No, but I mean... She'll break up with you. What if, if, you what if, I, what if I propose to her? If you propose to her, you'll probably bring her credit down. <laughs> so, but that could, I, have, I have a feeling that, that the matrimony between two people with a 700 borrower and a 500 borrower will blend to a 600. You'll, you'll manage to drag her credit score in the dirt with you. Yeah, but then I couldn't I qualify for a better loan then? I that would that? assume that associating herself with your last name would bring her credit score down. <laughs> Is there a tow truck in the parking lot looking for you right now? <laughs> Anyways, um, so once again, we get to talking about layering a risk. We get to talking about credit scores. So if you're in a situation where maybe your credit's taking a hit, the best thing to do is to obviously get on payment plan and start paying your bills on time. That's number one. You know, you, you've got the debt, so let's go ahead and try to pay them off. The next thing would be to contact a reputable credit repair company. Um, it's your call if you decide to go that route. There is ways to get your credit score up without going that direction, um, but it's a lot of work. So sometimes employing a reputable credit repair company is extremely helpful. 
I've got a lot of those guys on my friends list. If you need that help, please let me know. Obviously, we want to do anything we can to get people that are deserving into a home. And by deserving, I mean people that have had a history of paying their bills on time, um, you know, enough income. That's another thing. Somebody asked me the other day, well, why can't I qualify for 300000 The situation was they just didn't make enough money to fall under the guideline and qualify for that much. So there are limitations there that we have to look at. Um, a lot of times compensating factors will offset some of the risk. So if there is a situation where maybe the credit score is down a little bit and you've got some money in the bank, we can probably look at getting you a loan that way. Um, anything else? You got anything to say? I mean, what if I... He's still trying to get a loan. Here. We're going to co-sign. <laughs> You're not buying a car. No, this is a co-signer so will help you. From an income standpoint, if you have a client that is using an FHA loan, they are in some cases allowed to use a co-signer to help with income as long as both parties qualify. So if that was the case, yes, you'd be in good shape. If you were lacking in income, you'd be fine. Um, but in your situation, we really just need to work on the credit. And the key thing to do is find a credit monitoring or a free credit report, I'm sorry, and go through and see if there's any errors. If there are, get it removed. Um, if there's not, they're just simple late pays, go ahead and work something out with the credit or the credit companies to try to get those corrected and to get your payments on time. Well, I really wanted to get into a house in the next, say, three months. Is that is that something that can happen if I work with one of these people or something of that nature? You know, in some cases, depending on an individual's situation, that can happen. Um, it's all based just on an individual to individual. Like case by case. Case by case. Yep. Okay. Depending on what that you're delinquent on, depending on the situation, depending on how much disposable money you have. Um, there are cases where you can get a credit score to go up significantly in a short period of time. So, any other questions? No? no? All right. Well, that's our little skip for the day. It wasn't as funny as normal, but it works. So hopefully you guys get the message. And, oh, yeah. Check this out. <laughs> Later. <laughs>